And there's like scenes where I'm like, you know, men treat me like some sort of subservient Asian, you know, like they're like, oh, she's Asian, so she must be right. so, you know, thought and like I have them throwing wine in their face and like, you know, kung fu kick them down. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so yeah, you should try it. It's really good therapy. I really yeah. think this writing has helped me so much. <laughs> It's really finding a balance. Right. It really is. You need to find your own balance because some, for some people, maybe they need more of one thing or less of one thing, whatever. For me, it's the physical, mental, and, you know, emotional, like all that stuff. If I don't get it in, you know, whatever. And there are days where I will sink back into that, you know, that depressive where like, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to disappear. That, that was mm-hmm. the mantra I used to say. I just want to disappear, mm-hmm. you know, and it's, that's not really healthy. Yeah. Um, but I finally got myself out of it and I realized that it's really finding your own balance and each person is different. It's just a matter of finding things that make you feel better and make you, you know, it has, you have to do something physical. You have to do something cleansing, whether yes. it's for me, it's sewing. Like that was the meditative, right. like, you know, um, so I have an Etsy store, but I don't do it for the money. I do it for the creative, right. mindless work, yes. which calms me down at the end. It's like I sew every night before bed because for me that's how I come off the, the stress of whatever happened that day. 